you told me Arsenal goes down to 10 men, 26 minute, only a two shot in the entire game and still come out with a draw, I would have laughed you out the goddamn building. I would have said, get the fuck out of here, you goddamn clown. But such is the case in this match against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge where Arsenal drew two all. My God, what a crazy game. And initially I thought Arsenal set the pace pretty well, but it's Shadrach Mustafi who is flat out showing to everybody that he is a undesirable, an absolute undesirable fucking defender. And he lets a pass completely whiff. And Chelsea player, I think it was Abraham, um, able to just fucking go in there against David Luiz. And David Luiz urgently doing the necessary thing of pulling a player down. Gets a straight red. And a penalty is rewarded. And Jorginho nets one in. One nil to Chelsea. And at that point, it looked as though Chelsea was looking to press onward. But... All I, all I hoped at this point was, okay, let's just get to halftime. Mikel Arteta can probably talk some sense into these guys at halftime. Maybe get something, something, a push out of these guys. And you bring on Guendouzi for Mesut Ozil in the 55th minute, and he becomes a pest. And the midfield has more energy, and there's more dynamic fluidity to the ball and where it go, uh, where it goes. And... Man, oh man, you're just watching this Chelsea team just kind of step back a little bit. And the great part about this next sequence is Chelsea has the ball inside Arsenal's defense. And the ball is somehow spilled out to Gabriel Martinelli, who dribbles it past N'Golo Conte, who slips. Uh, slippy, slippy G, Steven Gerrard style slips. And Gabriel Martinelli sprints 64 fucking yards straight to the goal and scores an equalizer. Absolutely fucking bonkers. Stamford Bridge is Emirates. I mean, it's it's just all Arsenal fans going ape shit. And you see Chelsea trying to fight back, but you see Arsenal just right there, right there with them at 10 men. With 10 men only, they are right there with Chelsea. And Chelsea caused a lot of problems, of course. I mean, Guendouzi getting the yellow card always means that, yes, they were trying to penetrate through the midfield and just become a fucking havoc on our defense, which, granted, you brought in holding late. Uh, you also brought in Willick after the 90th minute. But with that same cast, we somehow held up, somehow held up to a certain point. But 84th minute, Aspelicueta, off of a set piece too. Now that's the that's the kind of disappointing part. Gets in a uh, that's in a goal, and and at this point you're just hoping that maybe we can get a semblance of an of an attack going, something something to get our boys rolling, and it comes in the form of Hector Beller and possessing the ball inside the third, inside the goalie box. Dribbling the ball and pivoting ever so slightly to the left-hand side. And he finds a little bit of space when the defenders are off of him. He curls the fucking ball in from the edge of the fucking penalty box. And nets in a goal for the two-all equalizer. And that is game, boys and girls. The Chelsea blew their chances to go potential top three. That... That's what was basically on the line here. I mean, re reality is, yes, Leicester still got 45 points, while Chelsea coming into this match was at 39 points. And if if they held strong, they would have gotten some results out of it. But they choke at home. And for Arsenal, this is a character win. This, my friends, without Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, without David Luiz, you're main center back, which is just so crazy to say, but it is true. It is true. Without those cast members, we were able to net a result. One point on two shots, two all. We drew 2-2 two -two with two shots on goal. Dude, that 
That doesn't just happen with 10 men playing 75 minutes with a man down. Hey, come on, man. I am taking this draw and, and taking the best parts out of it. I mean, this was an absolute character draw. I mean, it's not a win, but it feels like a win in the way the Arsenal boys brought it back. And yes, you might argue, oh, the penalty was stupid. Yeah, of course it was. But with the mess you made, it's how you clean it, how you take care of yourself. And Arsenal took care of themselves going away and getting a win. And by that, I mean a point, which is what Arsenal wins are nowadays because, yeah, we're not that good anymore. Obviously, sitting at 10th place, coming into this match, we're 12th. Uh, not a great time to be an Arsenal fan. But you know what? Eventually, shit might get better. Who the fuck knows? So, hey, hopefully the Arsenal boys can take this result and roll with it. And, guys, we are still undefeated in the new year. So, let's take that to fucking heart. So, boys and girls, follow me at the Sky Lounge and all the links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe for more daily contents. Now, fuck off. Come on, you gunners.